The invasion of wild hogs into corn and wheat fields in Texas has created a series of challenges for farmers in the region. While pigs have caused heavy damage to Texas agriculture, depriving not only important food sources, but also the property of many farmers. Texas authorities and farmers have used the most extreme measures to deal with feral pigs. Now let's get to watch this whole entire video to discuss and learn a little bit more about these measures. Estimates suggest there are about 2 million feral hogs living in the state of Texas. To combat this challenge, the Texas government encourages responsible hunting as an effective means of controlling feral hog populations. Farmers often mobilize their efforts by entering crop fields before harvest to check and identify signs of wild boar's activity. The use of trained hunting dogs plays a vital role in tracking and tracing these elusive creatures contributing to the success of pig control initiatives. This coordinated effort is essential in areas where wild boar activities are frequent, facilitating a proactive response to minimize crop damage and prevent further agricultural losses. The adoption of hunting as a management strategy requires a scientific and ethical approach to ensure the safety of those involved and the welfare of other wildlife in the vicinity. The hunters moved to the field area, where harvest preparations are taking place, their cars were parked, and the hunters were preparing for the wild boar hunt. In the field, ladders have been erected, creating a higher visibility, making it convenient for them to observe and track the movement of wild boars. Wild boar's hunting is a scientific activity that requires extreme care to ensure human safety and not cause harm to other animals. Hunting must strictly follow the rules of hunting ethics, and it is usually carried out by people who are skilled and experienced in this. They use hunting dogs to search for wild boars, as well as using high accurate hunting guns, ensuring that targets are killed quickly and effectively. Some people may be skeptical about feral hogs hunting, but it is an effective way to reduce feral hogs numbers in Texas. Importantly, it does not have a significant impact on the environment. Controlling wild boar populations can even help with protection of animals and plant species from unnecessary competitions and infestations by wild boars. Although there are mixed opinions about wild boar hunting, it is still a necessary measure to protect fields, agricultural assets, and the natural environment. It is important that hunting is conducted in a responsible and regulated manner to ensure a balance between the survival of the feral swine and protecting the sustainability of Texas agriculture.
deciding when to hunt wild boars, whether during the day or at night, carries with it the unique advantages and limitations of each method. Night hunting often involves the use of infrared or car lightning to increase visibility in low light conditions. However, carrying out hunting at night requires a higher level of technique and risk management than hunting during the day. Wild boars often have the habit of foraging at night when they feel safe and at less risk. This makes it relatively easy to encounter herds of wild boars moving across fields at night. Using infrared light or light from a car helps facilitating hunting in the dark. However, hunting at night has some limitations to consider. One of the limitations it costs as using machinery and equipment to support hunting at night is more expensive than hunting during the day. Furthermore, risk management is an important factor. So as when strong light enters the night environment, it can make wild boars sensitive and reactive. Wild boars are known for being intelligent and adventurous wild animals, creating many challenges during the hunt. They have the ability to detect danger and can attack hunters, so technique and experience are decisive factors for success in the hunting of wild boars. According to the surveys from the Texas Hog Hunters Association, the price of wild boars meat in Texas ranges from $1.5 to $2.5 per pound, depending on the quality and freshness of the meat. The price of wild boar meat is often higher than that of the conventionally raised pork, largely because wild boars are a wild animal that are not easy to raise and requires more effort. Wild boar's consumption in Texas has increased significantly in recent years. According to the Texas Feral Hog Association in 2022, wild boar consumption in Texas has reached an estimated of 2 million pounds This reflects a significant increase in the popularity of this food among Texas consumers. It is expected that the wild boar meat consumption in Texas and the entire United States will continue to increase in the upcoming years. Wild boars are becoming a delicious and nutritious food source, favored by many consumers. Do you like eating wild boar's meat? What impresses you the most about this type of meat? Please let us know in the comment section below.
And for now, let's continue watching the rest of the video. Keep watching. Invasive species not only threaten the environment and the life of native species, but also carries a series of specific and potential risks and endanger humans. One of the greatest risks to human is the potential for invasive species to harbor dangerous viruses that can be transmitted to humans. It is impossible not to mention the wild boars, the most feared omnivore. You can go to any area in Australia or America to ask about this species. They will tell you about the billions of dollars in damage they can cause. They're scary and capable of carrying the virus that causes swine flu. This has been proven through many scientific studies. Swine flu is a disease transmitted directly from animals to humans, causing many epidemics worldwide. They carry more than 50 types of viruses. This virus can be transmitted to humans and cause serious, even life-threatening respiratory diseases. In the United States, feral pigs have proven to be significantly invasive and create fierce competition with native animals. The wild boar is an omnivore and can consume a variety of foods, including crops, wildlife, and even garbage. The ability of wild boars to damage crops and agricultural infrastructure has a major impact on the agricultural economy. Furthermore, wild boars have the potential to spread infectious diseases to native animals, posing another threat to the ecosystem. Looking at these rabbits, you will see that they are very cute, just like other harmless species. They are present in almost all grassland areas in Australia and America. They are believed to carry more than 60 types of viruses, some of which can cause diseases in humans For an example, the Mexoma virus, introduced into Australia in 1950, has killed millions of wild rabbits. However, this virus can also be transmitted to humans and cause symptoms similar to the common cold. The Australian government estimates that more than 10,000 Australians have been infected with the virus from wild rabbits in 2023. The invasion of non-native animals not only threatens biodiversity and the natural environment, but also causes fierce competition with native species. This effect creates a series of problems in food sources and living space, affecting the balance of the ecosystem and the development of human communities. In Australia, a classic example of competitive encroachment is wild rabbits. The wild rabbit is a herbivore capable of destroying crops and lands creating a competitive situation with native species, such as kangaroos and birds. In 
In particular, wild rabbit's ability to reproduce rapidly makes them a formidable competitor to native species. They can breed around the whole year, and each litter has two to five offspring, creating a load on valuable food sources and living space. Examples of this competition can be seen in Australia and the United States. In Australia, wild rabbits have reduced kangaroo numbers in some areas, as they compete for food sources and living space. In the United States, feral pigs have put up fierce competition with native animals, such as elk and deer, making them more vulnerable. Competition between invasive species and native species is a serious problem for the environment and ecosystems. It can lead to the extinction of native species, change ecosystems and reduce biodiversity. To solve this problem, it is necessary to have measures to control invasive species populations promote research and apply effective management measures to protect animal communities and the natural environment from invasive species. As mentioned, invasive species not only impact natural habitats and ecosystems, but also create far-reaching impacts that last over time. They interfere with the natural cycle of the environment, affecting the growth of plants, animals, and water sources. This leads to habitat degradation and can cause natural resource management problems. Biodiversity loss and environmental degradation are serious impacts of invasive non-native species and they can lead to long-term consequences for ecosystems and people. Wild rabbits and wild boars can eat grass and plants, causing changes in the structure of the grass, affecting the growth of native plants and herbivores. This leads to habitat degradation and promotes land transmission. Biodiversity loss and environmental degradation are serious impacts of invasive non-native species and they can lead to long-term consequences for ecosystems and people. This problem requires attention and careful management to deal with invasive species and protect our precious natural environment. So since these solutions have been affecting and preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus don't forget to share, like and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.